It's time for Ryan's Roses. Uh, all right, here's the email we got. It says, uh, my husband has been hiding a lot of things from me. He changed the password on his phone and iPad. He's constantly getting texts. He says he is uh, to go run errands and doesn't tell me where he's going. And my girlfriend saw him at the gas station with another woman in his car. Mm. I asked about this. He denied it. He said it wasn't him. Every time I try and talk to him about it, he says nothing's wrong and that I'm overreacting with everything. I'm so broken. I don't think I can continue this way. Uh, I need to know what's going on with him. I'm so scared. So girlfriend thinks she's... But we've had situations in the past where... um, Like maybe it wasn't him and the girlfriend thought it was? No, it was him. It was a grocery store, remember? Mm -hmm. There was a a wife's friend who's a female Mm -hmm. saw the husband shopping for groceries or something with another woman. Oh, my gosh. Right? They were buying wine. That's right. They were buying wine. Guys are so dumb. Sorry. Not you, Ryan. (laughs) Other guys are so dumb. Let's grab uh, Maribel here. Maribel? Yes. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming on. So how legit do you think this friend's story is? Do you believe her? There's just so many things have been adding up that I'm just terrified. Like, this is not the first thing. He's He's just been hiding a lot of things from me. He changed the password on his phone and his iPad. He's getting texts all the time and then just, like, ignoring me when I asked him who he's texting. He's always saying he has to run errands and he doesn't tell me where he's going. It just feels like everything is adding up and I just have this horrible feeling, you know, that something is definitely going on. Um, the gas station. So she's sure she saw your husband at the gas station and another one was in the car? Yeah. Could it be somebody he works with? I mean, he denied it, and I'm sure it could be, but I just feel like with everything else, I'm just, I'm convinced something is going on. I just, I feel like, just, he's just, he's like checked out, you know what I mean? Like, he's just not responding to, I'm not so did you, did you feel, that, but did you feel that he was not responding before you heard this story about where he was? Like, you felt this already, and then you mm-hmm. heard this story, right? Exactly, exactly. All right, how yeah. long have you been, uh, how long have you been married? Uh, we've been married for 17 years. And how many wow. kids? We have three kids. So let's get um, Maribel on. Maribel, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call him whatever his name is on KISS FM. Oh, you okay, have my permission to call on KISS FM. Okay, we're going to bring Patty in. Patty's going to offer him some roses. Now, we want to see who he sends them to mm-hmm. and then what he writes on the card, okay? Okay. So that will give us as much information as we can here, and then we'll have to tell him we're on. Uh, okay. So be very quiet. Here we go. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Louis? Uh, this is Louis. Hi, Louis. It's Patty, and I'm calling from for, uh, Flowers for Less. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm calling because you've been chosen to receive a free dozen roses. They're completely free, and you can send them to whoever you want today. I'm choosing five customers today that will be, be getting free dozen roses at no charge, um, including the delivery. And like I said, you can send them to whoever you want. I have white or red roses that you can choose from. You just tell me which one you want, and they get delivered today. All I need is the name of the person you want to send them to, the note, and the address. Uh, how did you get my number? Well, what we do here is we get a collection of numbers from people that opt in to get promotions and coupons uh, when they make a purchase online. So yeah, assuming, I haven't signed up for anything. I'm assuming you may have clicked in by accident because sometimes that's what happens. You click, you know, you opt in by accident when you make an, an online purchase and then we get the information. But it's completely okay. free. Like I'm not going to charge your credit card. I actually don't have any of that information. All I have is your name, your, your name and your phone number. So there's no delivery charges, there's no nothing? Nothing at all. I don't have any sort of way to charge anything. It's just that I'm just promoting my service, and I'm hoping that I can gain a customer out of this. (laughs) Okay. Um, Sure, I guess. Okay, so who do you want to send them to? Um, And are they, what type of roses are they? They're red or white. You tell me which ones you, you prefer. Uh, okay, let's go. I'll go with the red ones. Okay. And do you want them uh, open or closed? I have no clue what that means. Well, you know, like, do you want the r- rose closed or do you want the rose partially open? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. What's You're a woman. What's the best way to go with this? Let's go with closed. We'll go, we'll go closed. 
Okay, great. So, so who do you want to send them to? Um, I'm going to send them to my wife, Maribel. Okay. And what do you want to put on the note? Uh, just put, uh, I love you, and I'm sorry that I've been a little distant lately. Okay. We're doing with Ryan Seacrest in uh, Sicily on 102.7 Kiss FM. Your voice is being broadcast. I need you to know. And we've got your wife, Maribel, on the phone. What Hi. She has asked us to call you. Why are you sending the roses to her to apologize? What do you think she's feeling? Hey, what, what, what do you think? Your my name is Ryan. What do you think your wife is feeling? Why are you sending the, the flowers to her? I I don't know what's going on right now. Why are you guys calling me? Why is well, Maribel? Why don't you tell your husband what's going on and what you're feeling? I just I I think something is going on with you. I I, I think that you. I mean, I, I'm scared. I think you're cheating on me. I, and I think. I, I still don't believe. That. I think you just sent those flowers to me because you knew that I was I was trying to get you, catch you in this. I think maybe maybe you know about Ryan's roses and you knew what was happening. Are you serious? How many times do we have to go through this? Oh my god! I'm trying to do something nice for you, and now you're you're berating me on the radio. Well, can I ask you a couple questions here, just so we can clear the air since we're here? Mm -hmm. uh, so your wife tells us that her friend saw you at a gas station with a woman in your car when you were supposedly out running errands. The it woman was, was not me. It was, oh, I've said it. And your wife addressed times. this with you, right. So it wasn't you at the gas station for sure. No, it was not me. And well, you know, this, she brings it up every single day. Well, she brought it up to me too. This girlfriend yeah. is like, she's certain it was you. Where were you? I was, I was at work. I was in my company truck. I was nowhere around there. But why have you been changing your passwords on your phone, your iPad? Because I, she don't, for one, she doesn't need to be going through my phone. It's my work phone. Uh, I have a lot of sensitive information on there. And what do you, you do know what? I'm work? allowed to have some sort of privacy. What do you do for work? I work for the company. I, I work for the water company. And what's sensitive there? Addresses? Well, it's addresses and people's numbers and account information. You know. Got it. So... Just so we're completely clear, are you cheating on your wife? I'm, I am not cheating on my wife. Have you ever cheated on your wife? <laughs> I've never cheated on my wife. Right, is, then we're good. Uh, then we're good. Okay. We're good. Maribel, we're good. I mean, you need to go back and talk to your friend here because apparently she has uh, she's seen the wrong guy. I just He just seems so checked out, though. I don't know. I just He seems like he, he, just, he doesn't, I don't know. We've been together for 17 years. 17 years. We have three wonderful children. And the fact that you're throwing me on the radio, this is... Yeah, because our kids are starting to ask. Our kids are like, why is mommy so sad all the time? And it's because you're just you're ignoring me and you're being... Because I'm guessy. working to support us. I have, I have to the load of everything for the whole entire family. Everything's on me. But that doesn't mean you have to check out. I mean, it's really starting to affect me. Like, I'm not sleeping. I feel like I'm just distraught all the time. The kids see it. It's just not good for any of us that I feel this way. And I just so, yeah, feel like you you're not change. being truthful. The kids don't see this. All right. Listen, you guys need to talk about your communication and relationship. We're going to let you do that off the air, okay? Okay. And, Maribel, thank, thank you for reaching out, and good luck to the two of you. Thank you, Ryan. All right. I mean, it sounds like maybe he's a little checked out. Maybe. I don't. I don't believe he's cheating. They just have to communicate. It looks like they need a night out or something. Yeah, maybe a little bit more than that. Yeah, but I don't. To, I mean, I don't know. I take got to take the guy for his word there. Yeah, I'm surprised. Look at you. You didn't get overheated with this one. No. You're good. No. Nope.